What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer, and welcome back to Pokemon Insurgents Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we kind of, sort of, got started on our adventure, um, and we got we got this mute. Oh, um, okay, hold the phone. Oh, there it is. Game wasn't okay. So, one thing I want to say first. I apologize for last episode. I didn't realize how bad my audio was. The game was overpowering my, um, I didn't realize it until like just after I finished recording it. So I'm hoping this is fixed. Um, I'll see the, I'll see this in editing anyway. Um, anyway, so, oh geez, I didn't even realize that we could actually use Mew. <laughs> So, yes, we have this Mew with us. Um, can't really do anything here, so I guess I guess we're just leaving? And everyone's just carrying on like normal. That's fine, I guess. Ooh, clipping. Um, yeah, so I, I guess we just leave? Yeah, we just leave. Okay. Let's get... GTFO The Shade Forest Ooh. I like this music I do I re I really like this music No way to okay Cuz you can only you cuz you never know where you can find um Man, this music is pretty dope. Oh. This do not count because we don't have Pokeballs. <sighs> what do you have now? Oh, and something else too. I didn't explain it uh, last time. As per Nuzlocke rules, um... Even though we just saw that, even though we just saw that ghastly, we do not. Why is the game clipping like that? This is. Whoa. Maybe I found a bug. Um. Anyway, yeah. So lost my train of thought there. So basically, what happens is that even though we saw that ghastly, the Nuzlocke run only counts once we have Pokeballs. So. Let's go inside the forest. There's a small flute and another note in Mew's hands. Where do you get these? Where do you keep these? Jeez. We got the quartz flute and the note. This flute lets you call upon Mew when needed. To use it, go into your bag and either use it directly or register it. Good luck, your benefactor. Okay. Aww. Whoa. Okay. I could swear I saw Mew here just now. Did you see a tiny pink Pokemon? It was floating really close to you. You didn't see anything. Oh, I swear I... My name is... Oh. I gave an old man voice. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. He's an old man. My name is Damien. I'm an aspiring Pokemon trainer. And you are? Chris? Got it. You came to Teldor Town at the perfect time. The Ugger. The great, the auger. You know who the auger is? We do. He doesn't. <laughs> of course you do. Who wouldn't? He's the only amazing, most amazing person ever. The mayor and townsfolk have been preparing ever since this morning. I'm excited. I'm just running errands before he arrives. I know. Why don't you help out? We're signing jobs at the town hall, you know, cleaning and so on. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Ooh. You got a potion? Top four of any Pokemon Center, blah blah. You can hear your Pokemon buy things and bottom four buy new clothes. Nuzlocke run starts. Okay. Okay, we got ourselves some Pokeballs, but we still don't have any mons. So I guess we should just go to the town hall, I guess. Uh where's the town hall? <laughs> 
Okay, it's e yeah, I say it's this building? Nope, this is the Pokemon Center. Hello, I'm Professor Sylvan, a professor of this town. I suppose you want to start your Pokemon adventure. Most of the other kids in the neighborhood have, uh, have already got their EV for me and headed north through Trainer Scar in Midna Town. I'll have to wait a little bit though. Oh. Uh, okay, so we can't do anything there yet. Okay. Uh, Telnor Town. Okay, I guess this is the town hall. I guess. Oh, yeah, this is town hall, all right. I'm gonna draw the auger a portrait when he's here. After all, everyone in the town is supposed to give him a gift. Uh, maybe I talk to this guy, Damien. Oh, yes, here we go. I finished clearing up the road. Is there anything else I can do? Oh, this is Chris. I met I met them outside? What do you mean, them? We're just one person. Um, okay. They offered th they. Who's they? I'm just one person. Nice to meet you, Chris. Well, Damien, I think we're pretty well finished. As long as you have your gift for the auger ready, I think you're done. You do have your gift, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I may have forgotten. Of course you have. You better find one and fast. I heard you can find a rare, a rare stone in one of the caves in the forest. Of course you need a Pokemon to go safely. No, absolutely not. Not a chance. Damien's not ready to get a Pokemon. He's just a child. Uh, everyone in the town already got theirs and left. And you're not going to follow them. You'll get yourself killed. Oh, mom. I raised you since birth. You're not capable of raising a plant, <laughs> let alone a Pokemon. You're irresponsible, antisocial, and you can't even... That's enough. Wow. Then mom putting in the, the law. Lend you both. Ooh. Find the forest to find a gift? Sure. That, so it's settled then. Chris will help Damien get a gift for the auger. Okay. So. Um. Problem. That I'm already seeing. <laughs> this is the starting town. Literally. Just north. Of this little tiny town. Is a cultist headquarters. Or, like, a cultist base. Do these guys even know? Major Professor Blah Blah Blah, she had a bunch of EV from her days of a trainer. Labs are south east in the corner of the town, see you there. Let me move my thing over a bit. <laughs> hey, Chris, thanks for agreeing with me to do this with me, it really means a lot. No problem, Wally. <laughs> Alright, we finally get our Pokemon. Jeez, alright. Now, as you guys seen in the last episode, we did turn on the Delta Pokemon. So, could we get Delta Pokemon as starters? I hope so. Listen, Professor, these Pokemon, they're freaks. Delta Pokemon! <laughs> no other trainer would want them, and we can't keep them any longer. All I want is for you to take them. You already keep a bunch of Eevee as is. Surely these, threes won't, these three won't be a bother. And why do you care about them? I know what you've done. It's true, I'm merciless, I've done some awful things. But there's no reason for these Pokemon to die. Wow. I'm Damien, this is Chris. We're here to get Pokemon so we can get to the forest safely. He's gonna... yeah. Sylvan, if you don't take these Pokemon, I'll release them, and they're sure to die in the wild. If you want, you can just give them to these kids. Oh, man. Put them on the table. We get Delta Pokemon as starters? Oh, man. I'm curious what they are. Excuse me, please. I'm curious as to what these are. So you two in need of a Pokemon? Yes, ma'am. I see. The man in there just now, he was one of my colleagues in university. He's a smart man and a great scientist. He's also the leader of the Cult of Perfection. Those people are evil, you shouldn't be talking to them, let alone accepting gifts. Oh, Tell me, Damien, Chris, have you ever heard of something called Delta Species? Mmm... I have. Then allow me to explain. Delta Pokemon are based on a phenomenon in the Holin region far away. They're Pokemon that have different DNA than normal Pokemon. Simply put, they're typed differently than normal. For example, when an Electric-type Dragonite would be an Electric-type Dragonite or a Water-type Porygon. 
These Pokemon on the table are now de are Deltas. I'm not sure what type they are, but they seem to be experiments of Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirrel. Ooh, Kanto starters! For scientific marvels, I would love to keep one to study. Now, normally I would give you an Eevee to start on your journey. However, it seems there are more options for you, so I'll offer you this. You may choose one of these three Delta Pokemon to travel with, or the Eevee I normally give away. We have a choice of four? Okay, we have a choice. <sighs> Either we get an Eevee or we get Delta Species, Bulbasaur, Charmander, or Squirtle. All right, let's take a look at let's take a look at Bulbasaur. Fairy Psychic. Oh man, Fairy Psychic. What's this? Whoa! Charmander looks sick. <laughs> Ghost Dragon type. Oh man, that Charmander looks wicked. Dark fight. You look like a friggin' Ninja Turtle. <laughs> he looks like a Ninja Turtle. That's awesome. Dark fighting. Hold on. Who else is dark? Is there a dark fighting type? And what are weaknesses? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, cu I'm curious now. Dark... Oh no. Dark Pokemon. I'm curious. Is there... A... I want to say that there is. Yes. Scraggy Scrafty. So what is the weaknesses? Fighting, Flying, and Fairy. Ghost Dragon. That's a new one. I don't think there's ever been a ghost dragon. Um, oh man. This is crazy. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave the decision. I know this has been a short episode, but I'm going to leave the decision up to you guys. Call this like the pick my starter episode. So we have four choices. We can get an Eevee from the Professor. We can get a psychic fairy, a fairy psychic type Bulbasaur. A ghost dragon type Charmander. Or a dark fighting type Squirtle. I'm going to leave the decision up to you. And you guys only have like three, three days apparently. You guys have three days because this is going up on Thursday. So Friday, Saturday. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Um, you guys have two days to pick a starter for me. If there's no decision made, I'll do it in the next episode. But I'm gonna leave the decision up to you guys. Um so go ahead and pick a starter for me. Now keep in mind. This is a Nuzlocke, and the game knows this, so we need to pick something that we know will live a long time. So, I'm going to leave the decision, like I said, I'm going to leave the decision up to you guys, and hopefully, hopefully, we can get through this game. So, I'm going to leave things up here. So, you guys only have a couple of days, because I usually record on Sundays, and this is going up Thursday. Um, so, with all that said, guys, I'm going to get out of here. And, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to click that thumbs up button like you never clicked it before, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer, and I will see you in the next